M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking at the Nano VNA. So this is about the software and downloading the software, which looks like this. Now I've never done this before, so we're just going to give it a go. And you've got a GitHub link here at the bottom. So let's click it. Now my VNA is connected and it's connected to my antenna. I have, I have actually already calibrated it in a separate video. So this is where you go. And then we're going to go straight to the bottom here and look for this 64 zip for Windows, I would say. And you've got Linux and MacOS zip here and v um, Nano Saver here. Source code and other things. So let's just run it. Now the VNA is actually plugged and connected to the computer yet. I'll do that once I run it. So let's click here and run it. Now I might have done this before. We'll soon find out. Let it run. Like so. Something's happening. Doing this live, as you can tell. Fast forward if it gets a bit boring. Not really sure what this is. All right, well, it looks like we'll pause it because we're not really sure why it's taking so long. So eventually it did just open after a pause. There's the window that we got. So we'll open it like so, get full screen. Now we're going to plug the device in. It comes with a micro USB cable, so we're just going to plug that in on top. Like so, we hear the noise from the PC. Setting up a device. You can see it all there on the screen, hopefully. And it should. We should be able to click rescan here. There it is. It's automatically found COM port 13. And then we're now going to click connect to device. And we are connected to a computer already. So it says we're connected. We've got some graphs here straight away message from the PC. Now to calibrate, you click here, you can calibrate it. Now I've never used this program, but it is showing the parameters that I set up, like start and stop, center and the span. So everything that I put into, th that I manually put into the VNA is all here now. So lots of information, I'm sure you can do a lot with it. If I just did click calibration, um, let's have a look here. We could start the calibration system. Look at this calibration assistant. We can reset it. We can apply. And it's the same as, you know, you put the short on, then the open, the low, then the through, then the isolation. I'm not going to do that this second. Um, I'll do it in a separate video. You've got your Smith chart here. 100% sweep settings. So start, set sweep band here. Average. Time domain, show data, sweep. Let's turn it to sweep. There you go. It's done a sweep. Um, Smith chart here. Now, where can we select the charts? We want manage the section here. So anyway, I'll put the link in. You know how to download it. I'm just clicking around and looking, to be honest now. I'm sure this uh, software is fantastic. Display setup, sweep color, background, band, display chart, Smith chart. You can add markers here, settings. Lots of settings here, so it looks, it looks good. Defaults. Now on the screen, let's I'd like to select it as show SWR. I've never used markers yet. Manage band display settings. Negative positive. Point signs, Smith chart. 
Okay. Looking around display setup. Is that the same? Yeah. About return loss. Polar plot. Interesting. We can click the chart and things change, look. Right, well, okay, that's enough for today. And then I will be, tomorrow, I'll, it's a bit late tonight, I will um, do the procedure where you calibrate. It's like you can save files as well. Load a sweep, load reference. Segments, sweep control, the different markers, time domain, look at that, TDR, got all sorts of settings there.